Oh, Yo, he is hilarious. He's too much. Look at this. What, what is this about? What is this about, Tom? What are you doing, Tom McDonald? Hello, friends. Welcome back to Look and Live. You are now here with Pastor James Devalon. And guess who we have today? Wow, the man, the man that I... <laughs> I've been reacting to listen. I have well over 40 different reactions to Tom McDonald's on this channel, man. The song we're gonna react to today is entitled "I'm Corny." I, I'm corny. I have never heard this, so <laughs> yeah, it was recommended in the comment below. So therefore, we're going to react to "I'm Corny" by Tom McDonald. Please stay tuned. Okay, friends, if you are new to the channel, don't you forget to like and subscribe to the page as well. Become part of this family. Check out the contents we have below. And I do also have a link to a Bible study YouTube page for those of you who are spiritually hungry, looking for that spiritual nourishment as well. We got that going on for you at the Look and Live Bible Studies page. Okay, let's go to Tom McDonald. I am corny. <laughs> Last time I reacted to one of his songs, he was entitled I'm Sorry, and I know he gave me a 619 on that one. But uh, anyway, I'm ready to see what Tom McDonald's about to talk about, but I'm pretty sure there's a level of sarcasm mixed in there, as he often does. All right, let's look at that together. Okay, I'm corny. All my songs are super boring. I'm like Macklemore on crack if he smoked it till he was 40. I'm a racist, I'm a sexist, I try too hard to be cool. I'm a clickbait rapper, I pay for all of my views. I got white, white, white privilege leaking out my eyes when I cry. And I'm always shedding tears, cause it's hard to be white. My girlfriend writes my raps, I hope I never get dumped again. I hate the libtard, so I must be Republican. Now my Gucci is fake, I got this Louis on sale. I'm a snitch like Takashi, so I will never see jail. I look just like the mumble rappers that everyone hates. I braid my hair like a girl and put tattoos on my face yeah why do you keep talking about me everything's been said wow. all that hating isn't healthy you might end up there call me a loser say i suck tell me i'm ugly well so what you're so stupid are you drunk say it to my face and i'll kick your butt they call me a loser say i suck tell me i'm ugly well so what The title of the song is I'm Corny, and he is <laughs> chewing on things of corn. Tom McDonald is doing something here that um, it's a good way, we're using satirical and also sarcasm to kind of reflect his personal views against the people who may be calling him different names and not, not understanding the content of his music. Yeah, so I think uh, this is actually a very smart way to show, hey man, what you say about me is of little significance as far as I'm care because uh, I know what I'm up to. So I love that idea of what he's trying to portray here. This is Tom McDonald for you, man. For those of you who don't know who Tom McDonald is, that's what he does. Hang over gang, hang for life. You guys know. This, uh, this dude, he has different ways of responding to different messages, man. He has that stern, tough, soft, emotional, and he also have that very uh, funny side of him. So... All that is mixing together in a song. Very powerful. Well done. Kick your butt. Okay, I'm corny and whack. I'm horrible trash. I'm the worst rapper alive, and I'm ignoring the facts. I try too hard to be edgy. My bars are garbage. You win. I'm 100% pure grade A Colombian cringe. And if rap was a game you could play with your friends, I'd be the SoundCloud rapper boss you fought at the end. Look, I'm so thirsty for clout that I'd slap my mama for fame. I'm 30, but I look like I'm your grandfather's age. I'm like Joyner Lucas Horny had a baby with logic. The doctor dropped it on his head and said, That's a Tom McDonald. I smell like MGK just ate a burger and farted. And my Face tattoos look like I fell asleep at a party. Retarded. Why do you keep talking about me? Everything's been said. All that hating isn't healthy. You might end up dead. They call me a loser, say I suck. Tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? Wow. You're so oh, stupid, are you? Yo, he is hilarious. He's too much. Look at this. Tell me I'm ugly, well, so what, what is this about? What is this about, Tom? What are you doing, Tom McDonald? <laughs> so what? You're so stupid. Are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. They call me a loser. Say I suck. Tell me I'm ugly. Well, so what? You're so stupid. Are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. Kick your butt. Retard 
loser, you're so gay, you're so corny, you're so lame, you're unhappy, so you call me names. <laughs> it's silly, yo. Been the same since seventh grade, angry, <laughs> sad, and full of hate. Take it out on me, cause you're in pain. They call me a loser, say I suck, tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. They call me a loser, say I suck, tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. They call me a loser, say I suck. Tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? You're so stupid, oh, are silly. you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. They call me a loser, say I suck. Tell me I'm ugly, well, so what? You're so stupid, are you drunk? Say it to my face and I'll kick your butt. Kick your butt. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <clears throat> Hilarious. For a number of reasons. Number one. Tom took the time to respond to a lot of negative comments made about him in the most sarcastic way. Um, I think this is a good way to deflect uh, the comments made by bullies. And I think a lot of youth could relate to this song as well, who are being told certain names. So they're kind of like, okay, you want to call me all these names? I'll take it all in and I'm going to use it against you. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, I really appreciate this. Uh, this is something I've never heard before. Um, yeah, that was actually very smart, very well done. So instead of taking things too hard consistently, there's a time we have to kind of we do something like that in a way. Um, let me share something with you um, from the word of God. And I think this was a good one. By the way, love the pictures, love the kids that are in there. I really appreciate also the content. Um, yeah, Tom McDonald does a number of things here. If I may quickly take a look for examination. Uh, the visuals were great, man. Look at the outfit. He behaves really corny in the process, so he really... Uh, what's up with the corn outfit, man? What's up with the corn in his nose? This dude is wild. <laughs> Yo, Tom, you got issues. But I see what you're saying, though, because I love your mind. And thank you for including these kids um, in there as well. Um, they did a really awesome job. Very well done. <laughs> Look at that facial expression. <laughs> Like, you got to work on this one for about a week or two to get there. This is not easy to do. At least for some kids, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, very well done, Tom. And I um, appreciate this hangover, hang over a gang for life. I'm still work, struggling with that. It's been like four months or so, right? Yeah, man. So uh, there was a time in scripture where many of the followers of Jesus were either somewhat um, fearful or confused are afraid of name calls. Uh, I'm going to tell you, man, Jesus has been called many names. But I want to tell you something about the names that he's been called. Okay, I'm thinking of a different passage here. Let's go to Luke chapter, Luke 15, right? Uh, yeah, Jesus was called many different names in his, in his life. He was called a publican, a friend of sinner, he had they told they say he had a, he was demon possessed with the spirit of Beelzebub. He was called a Sabbath breaker, a gluttony, um, a wine baber. There was so many different titles given to Jesus, and he was also called um, a, a, what would you say, someone who would start a revolution, some type of I don't know what you would say, trying to overthrow the government kind of thing. But anyway, with all these titles, Jesus didn't lose sight of his mission. And I think uh, Tom, in the same way, is doing the same thing in his own realm. Now, look at this. In Luke chapter 15, verse 1, it says, They drew unto him the publicans and sinners to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, This man receives sinners and eateth with them. Look at, the, look at the claim that they make against Christ, right? The claim is that Jesus receives sinners and eats with them. And the idea is, why would you be hanging out with these sinful people? You're supposed to be Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. How dare you hanging out with sinful and wicked individuals? So they will put these labels and titles on Jesus as a result. Little did they know Jesus had a mission, a work to fulfill. And that mission was to save the lost. 
And we are told in that he gave a parable about a lost sheep and he went on to give a parable about what is known as a lost coin. He gave a parable about the prodigal son. But the significant thing about the parable is this. Each one of them, each one of these parables was in essence, uh, Christ's ultimate purpose is to save the lost. That's what the parable was about. And the second thing is God's heart is open to receive you no matter where you are in your life right now. And that's the idea. When you come to the point of at the end of this parable, each one of them said the same thing. Um, and there it is in, in verse 20, 24, it says, my son was dead. He is alive again. He was lost and he is found. And the other one speaks about, uh, when you go to the other parable, in verse 10, talking about the lost coin, he said, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. So God is more concerned about saving people than he is about the labels that people place on him. So uh, he tells you against in verse 7 about the lost sheep. It says, I say unto you, there shall be joy in heaven over one sinner who repents more than 90 and 9. Of just per, 99 just person who needs no repentance here's the point the point is god concerns is about saving you putting labels on him beating labels on christ was of little significance to him and i think tom mcdonald in the same way in his own realm in his own domain he's saying the same thing i don't care about your labels i don't care what you call me you want to call me all these things fine that's not going to change me from my purpose. That's not going to change me from my goals, from my drive to do the things that I do for my fans, for the people that I love to make a difference in the world by putting out music different than what the world is putting out. You want to call me corny? Fine. I own up to all his titles and I'm going to flip it on his head and use it against you as a rod. That's what he just did here with the song. Very smart, very intelligent. And it's very encouraging for, for young people as well who are getting bullied. They can use this as an approach to respond to their bullies as well. And oftentimes when a person sees you're not getting offended by the things that they say about you and against you, they really have no reason to continue. I think when we, we are called certain names and labels and we take offense to these things, then we become very vulnerable to those out there in a way that they can use it against us. But when we say, you know what, man, we have to have a thick skin. We have to have a soft heart and a thick skin, right? We have to be sensitive enough, but we also have to be tough enough to allow certain blows to come and just you know, let it go through, man. But Jesus, in the same way, um, he has his heart and his mind open to receive you, to receive me, no matter what we've done wrong. He never deterred from that plan until today. His plan remains the same. You want to call him whatever names you want to call him, that's fine. He's not going to stop loving. He's not going to stop caring. He's not going to stop trying to save as many as possible. And if you choose to come to Jesus just as you are, you repent of your sin and you come to him by faith and you trust in his grace and his mercy, you are guaranteed salvation. You are guaranteed forgiveness. You are guaranteed live life eternal. Thank you so much, Tom, for this content. I really enjoy this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the page. Go over to the Tom McDonald page and give him some love. Share some him. Share some him. Uh, share some love with him. And also, guys, remember we do have another YouTube channel for Bible studies, particularly. Make sure you go and check it out as well. Thank you so much for listening. As always, look unto Jesus and live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.